1940s and 50s are two of my favourite decades in fashion history. So to do a World War II movie with Guy, I knew it would be a wild and fun adventure, especially costume-wise. Guy cares very much about clothing, fabrics, how everybody looks on camera. So I knew this would be a wild and fun adventure to create a 40s wardrobe through the eyes of Guy and me. It's difficult doing research, especially anything Special Forces, 1940s. Any of the pitch references I found were really in books, especially Damien Lewis's Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Um, but I really dug deep into that whole world of merchant seamen. And you can see the textures, the prints, and the style in which all of these lads in those days wore their clothes. Each of them had their own sense of style that they noticed. Um, so I, it was important to bring that element into their capsule wardrobes that I created. And then when you have them into the fitting, um, you, I think it's important to let them take the lead a little bit in what and how they want to wear it. And then I just tidy it up in the end. I worked really closely with our production designer, Martin John, to make sure the fabrics and the colours that I was using for each of them worked with the sets and the environment. And then we've got Edward, our amazing DP. And because we're shooting out at sea, it's really important that all of those colours work out there in this wonderful natural daylight too. We have Aza, who is playing our leading Lady Marjorie. Um, by far, probably my favorite and most beautiful wardrobe I've created today. It's just phenomenal. And she has an amazing natural silhouette anyway, which is very true to the 40s, so we had a lot of fun. And she has a lot of great looks as well. So she's a secret agent. There's some action in there for her. There is also the day-to-day, -day, so you've got some beautiful 40s skirt suits. And then we have the fancy dress party where originally it wasn't the Cleopatra costume. I did have to convince a few people that that was the way to go. Um, once I put her in the Cleopatra dress, it wasn't too difficult to convince anybody because she looks phenomenal. When you're working with a director like Guy Ritchie, who, you know, he's infamous for having a particular type of look and style to each of his films. Um, so then I have to look through it all with his eyes, with his sense of style in mind. And that's when it becomes a little bit more fun. You know, in every one of his films, he has almost like a, a group or a gang look for everybody. And it was important to me that I created that for our leading lads, um, our merchant seamen, special forces guys. So they don't just look fantastic on their own, but they look brilliant as a unit.